Hey, good to see you again. Hey. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we All right, we got new new things. New things on the car. What did we get? We got um I can't ever tell by that piece of paper. We got a tire. We got uh, tire blankets. <laughs> so, uh yeah. After heavy consideration, uh, thank you guys for helping me out in the comments, but, um, but yeah, I, I did want to get more engine power, but I felt like this was the smartest way to go. I feel like our engine power is actually pretty solid. You know, it could get better, but I feel like this is where we really need to, uh, this is where we really need to go. And I felt like this worked out really well, too, is because I could just upgrade and have it, you know, on the car, you know, unless it failed, uh, at least this week, so... We got it on there, and it was only 900, so we can go back and probably get another upgrade after this next race as well. But, um, yeah, so minus two and a half uh, engine, or, um, excuse me, uh, tire wear. So, you know, it's a minor upgrade, but, uh, you know, it should definitely help a little bit. So we're on to Silverstone. Tenth race of the season. This is the halfway point coming off a second-place finish in Austria. Man, Sebastian Vettel was on it. Our car was really dialed in, but we just didn't have enough for Vettel. So look at the updated point standings. We lead the way. 41 points over Lewis Hamilton. Uh, 43, Kimi Rankinen. Vettel has cut it down to 54. So already we're looking good, but it's only halfway on the season. We still got a long ways to go. Look at the rest of it here. All the way down to still the two guys who have not scored any points yet. That's Stoffel and Lance Stroll. So look at the upgrade there on the tree. So we got 9 out of the 21 on the chassis. So next would be major tire wear upgrade. I thought that was going to put us ahead of Mercedes, but almost. So, uh, so there you have it. I was really thinking about aerodynamics, too. That's probably, yeah, I think that is our worst department at this point. But, um, yeah, I don't know really what to work on here. I mean, we probably could uh, could have gone for these two. That might have been a pretty good idea, uh, the front and rear. These are only minor upgrades, but uh, I think we probably could have got those back-to-back -back weeks. So that probably would have helped. But um, I don't know, man. Like, I don't feel like the arrow is all that big of a deal. Like, again, if I could just get a little bit better tire wear, I felt like I could have been there. But um, I don't know. It, it kind of depends, I guess, whether I get the, solid, the, the setup dialed in or not. Yeah, if the setup's not dialed in, then hell yeah, I'll take aerodynamics. But, um, you know, if it, if it is dialed in, I need that tire wear to keep me on it. But, um, but yeah. So uh, with that, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, hop into it. With that, then, let's... Alrighty, well, man, it was a... Uh, it was an interesting race weekend, I'll tell you that. The first practice was dry. Uh, the last two were heavy rain, and practice was rain. So, uh, luckily, we're only going to see dry conditions, apparently, in the race today. Although it is very, very cloudy. But, um, yeah, I definitely think I'm better here in dry conditions, uh, which is one of the few tracks I think I am. But, uh, yeah, I think that's probably for the best. But, uh, yeah, I honestly really don't have any clue what we've got in dry conditions. So, <laughs> it's thought it would be pretty fun. To the track. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to. Oh, my God, I got through it. Whoa, two illegal overtakes. What do you want me to do about that? Okay, okay, I can give one of them back here. Go ahead. That's a decent start. Good job. God! I hate that, man. This is dumb. I was just trying to miss the wreck. What am I going to do? I'm going to get Alonzo right back. What's even the point? Well, that was uh, butthole puckerage. I won't lie. I didn't think I was going to get through that there for a minute. But, uh... <laughs> Holy! Yeah, that, that just wasn't going to work. Four wide off in of turn one. Good lord. And I think that cleaned out the back half of the field. So, yeah, just about. They got a pretty long string, but it pretty much split the field in half. All right, well, on a lap two here. And we're kind of catching these guys. Got through there really badly as soon as I started talking. But I definitely feel like the car is pretty quick. Through there, yeah, the, the car feels really like really fast. Like I'm talking like engine power. It definitely feels really strong on the straightaways, man. Right? Oh, that thing snapped hard. Good lord. Yeah, a little snappy. That's one thing I don't. I don't. I'm not a big fan of this track. It's very. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of like straight off corners, I guess. I don't know. 
if that's the best way to describe it or not, but... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't quite fit my driving style. You know, quite the best, but... I don't know. It's still a pretty fun track, though. Come on, Pascal, come on. Hey, right, I'm getting a bear. I'm done playing around. There you go. We got him. I'm not sure if I was gonna clear him. We cleared him. That right, put us up in seventh. I feel like we can get Ricardo probably pretty easily. Problems. Problems somewhere. Oh, I guess I can't overtake, can I? Huh. What the hell? If somebody's gonna blow up. Oh, Botas! Thank you. The track is clear. Alright, I can, uh. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure there. Alright, we're good. Damn. Yeah, this thing's quick, so quick on the straightaways, man. Woo! There you go, just like that, we're up to P5 thanks to Boat Tans. Alright, well we got one in, that's Lewis Hamilton. So, yeah, Vettel, it's, it's honestly the, the group of leaders are all like, they're all like right there, they're all grouped together, about a three sec, three sec, uh, 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 uh. that's true. Let me, let me try that whole thing again. So the group of leaders are all right there together, about three seconds ahead of me. Um, and it kind of sucks. They're all just like using DRS and pulling away from me, but honestly, I've put together some really good lap times back here. Oh boy. I think, yeah, Ricardo's still back there. You see the distance now. We pulled away from him. So, uh, the car's definitely pretty quick. I just wish we had better. Uh, the car's pretty quick. I just wish we had better track position. Uh, I didn't qualify very well. Again, we qualified in the rain. I suck here in the rain. Qualified 10th. And then we had that huge gaggle on the front stretch. Or, well, going off into turn one. Had to give spots back to Alonzo and pass him right back, so I lost a lot of time there. But Oh, somebody died up here. Her position, I think. I don't know. That was awful. No, no, it wasn't. Uh, I don't know who just died, but... Uh... Okay. Our gap to the car in front is what the hell? Five I guess we're still running. Seconds. So the gap to our teammate is... There we go, went in again. Raikkonen is now the race leader. Kimmy's the leader. Perez has got some okay, pits. Has we're gonna be pitting next time by. Alright, big stop, boys. Big stop. Just on the money. All right. Then we got a long ways through pit road here. Uh, so we got one in behind us. That is Ocon. Yeah, I don't know if the car is quick or not. I, those guys were pulling away from me. I'm not sure if it was because they were in DRS the entire time or not. But um, let's see here. Two point three. Not bad. All right. That was pretty solid in and out. All right. So Lewis Hamilton just by there. Yeah, we definitely gonna be pretty far off him but he's on super soft so we're gonna see him in again Perez by he's on the softs strategy complete oh God. see these tires through to the end now okay and there we are so I mean I have no idea I would imagine if we're good enough we're gonna cycle in front of Lewis Hamilton at some point when he pits uh, one last time but we got a big gaggle of cars behind us. Like, oh, we got out of that. Right, there's Ricardo in the pits. I'm gonna pass him. Hamilton's just made a move for first. There you have it. Kimmy came out ahead of us. Uh, not too terribly. Well, I don't know. I don't know how far he was in front of us before, but. Okay, the current There you go. That was my fastest lap by eight tenths of a second. Okay, I still fell off three tenths. What the fuck? Three seconds. 
Dragon with the fastest lap. He was up there, and he got past Perez. We got one on pit road, and that is Lewis Hamilton, so he's now on to the sauce. And that puts us up into third, and I do believe we are catching Perez for second. All right, so here's the situation. Less than 10 to go. The teammate is behind us in P4, but I believe Lewis Hamilton cycled behind him. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think he'll be able to get back by. I mean, it's going to... I mean, assuming it takes him a little while to catch him and pass him, I don't think he's going to have enough time to get to me, so I think we got third locked up. I was catching Perez. I feel, I still feel like I am, but I don't know, man. I don't think I have enough time to catch him or enough car. I'm actually absolutely going to give him my all to try to catch him. I've cut it down to five, five even, five seconds even. Never know. 4.6. I'm cutting it. Man, it's just too big of a gap, man. It would have gave me some time that I missed missing the crash and giving spots back to people. I might have been close enough. I'm not giving up yet, but... Oh, man. <laughs> we definitely lost some valuable time earlier in this race. 4.1. I'm not giving up yet. 3.8. We're getting there, man. We were getting at 3.7 this time around, so. Yeah, man, we're just running out of time. And we're just not closing the gap big enough. We're definitely quicker, but. Man, if I could have just gotten that DRS. That's what I was hoping for. So maybe just sneak into that for a lap get after it, but yeah, it's not looking good. Oh! Well, that makes it interesting. Okay. I just started to have that mechanical issue right now, right? Just want to make sure my uh, catching them late, late race was valid. Is the game actually getting me? Giving me a break? It might be. We don't have many laps to catch him, but oh yeah, it's 2.9 now. Hell yeah. Come here, Perez. Oh yeah, he's definitely off the pace. Man, that's crazy. Honestly, I think I, should, I deserve this spot, but you know, circumstances. I didn't. I didn't quite get there. Ooh, ooh, I, but I don't know. I think I could have been there again if we didn't give up so much time early on, but. Shout out to the game for kind of giving me a break. Saving enough fuel, yeah. Uh, shut up. Yeah, looks like we're gonna get the spot. I don't know how much further along Kimmy is, but he was fighting with Perez once uh, them two came out of pit road. I think they were both on the sauce, but Kimmy just flat out drove away from us. Uh. There you go, two laps to go. We are. Uh, Pretty much here. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get him on this next straightaway here, I believe. Oh yeah, we'll get him. Yep. Lock in when you got problems. Got him. to P2. It looks like we're going to come up just short. Yet again. Let's see. Uh, and 11 and a half seconds. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Damn, 128.7 was his last lap. Is that what he said? My fastest last was 129.4. I'm not, I'm not going to catch him by the end of this thing. Damn it. Why couldn't he have done that like five laps sooner? And because of that 11 second advantage, he's going to coast home. Some of a bitch. Unless he's like way, way off the pace. But I mean, it's the white flag. He's already on the white flag probably when they said that. Or when, when he got issues, when he had problems. Damn it! 
Ooh, Samuelson with the fastest lap. Kimmy almost did the same shit he did at Spa. And have issues on the last lap and, and piss away the win. Man, the game almost gave me a double break right there. I almost won this race. Damn, man, that sucks. 11.6. Wow, that's something else. Well, GG, Kimmy. Unless you want to, like, really blow it up here in the last, like, couple corners. Damn, man. That sucks. I am happy I got all the way up to second, but... Honestly, I feel like this is probably one of the best drives I've had in a long time. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this track. I've never been all too good here. I know I won last time here, but it was in the rain, I think, because of the stupid strategy. Somebody commented that, and I forgot about that, but... Yeah. Yeah, we cut it all the way down to underneath 11 seconds, but... This race, another 10 laps, man. I'd probably be the winner. Feels bad, man, but... That was actually really fun. The car was actually really good. It was really competitive. Uh, we were running a little bit lower down force than what we usually do, but it uh, worked out really good since the car felt really good. But uh, this is actually a lot of fun. Man, I just wish we could have won. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I finally switched my number to number one. It only took me half the season, but I got it. Ah, uh, GG Kimmy. Man, for a second there, just for a split second, I thought I might win this race, but... Holy shit, man. Kimmy, I don't know what issues he had, but sputtered across the line, I guess. Man, that, <laughs> what a race. And there you have it. Two out of the three guys on this podium finished with car problems. GG, <laughs> Kimmy. GG. So he's going to close the gap a little bit. Uh, what was he, second or third in points? Somewhere in there, so... Um, but we, yeah, we never even saw the end of Lewis Hamilton. Like, he never, I don't even think he got past my teammate there. Ricardo in fourth. Or, yeah, yeah, he was fourth there, and then we passed Perez, so. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he did get by him. It was pretty late, though. But, yeah, here you go. So, Kimmy Rankin with the win, uh, third to first. We went tenth to, tenth to second. <laughs> we were on the one stomper. Lewis Hamilton, one of the few on a two stomper. Honestly, I think he would have won this race. Yeah, he had a, like, two tenths quicker lap time than Kimmy Rankin in best time. Uh, honestly, I mean, he led most of the race until he pit a second time. I don't know why he did. He finished 17 seconds off, mostly because of it. So, I mean, I'll take it, but, yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. But uh, teammate Ricardo finished in fifth, so not bad for him. Uh, Vettel. What happened to Vettel? He must have been the one that went off track because they were fighting for a long time. There was, like, a big group of... Oh, Vettel, Perez, I think Kimmy was one of them. But, um, but yeah, I guess he was the one who went off track. That was weird. I thought he blew up, but I guess he just, like, spun off track. Um, yeah, look at the rest of it here. So, that's Stroll, Stoffel. Uh, yeah, two DNS. Yeah, that was a weird race, man. I forgot Botas uh, had problems. A lot, of, a lot of top cars had issues today. And, uh, hey, we took advantage of it, but... Um, yeah, that was really fun. It was nice to have a really solid car here. It was, uh, did not uh, have many complaints whatsoever all right so back here look at the updated point standings so Kimi Rankinen has now cut it to 36 uh, Lewis Hamilton back 47 Vettel back 66 and Botas back 89 so uh, still looking pretty good for Kimi uh, honestly I mean we still got long enough in the season Lewis Hamilton can get on up there uh, he kind of did this uh, I want to say last season where he just kind of had a bad first half of the season he really started to pour it on the second half so Again, we've we've just kept it really consistent. <laughs> Four firsts, three second place finishes, and then sixth, sixth, and fourth. So we go on to Hungary. I like that track. When, I, another one of those tracks, I haven't really been able to get the setup dialed in. But we went to Austria, we got it dialed in. We went to Silverstone, we got it dialed in. With, uh, we got it dialed in. I'm pretty confident we could get it dialed in there, too. I'd love to. I don't think we've won there yet. Second, sixth, seventh, ninth. So, yeah. We have not won there yet. I really like that track. But, again, it's been hard to kind of get it, again, dialed in. So, a quick look at the update tree. Or the, the what do they call this? The R&D tree. Uh, so, once again, this is the tire wear upgrade we got for today. And, honestly, I don't know if it was because the car was handling so good. Uh, and we were fast that I just, you know, the tire wear felt better. But, uh... I did, th I did think it felt a little bit better, but I, I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, uh, we don't quite have enough resource points to get the next one. We could get another one on the car uh, for Hungary, 
if it's a minor upgrade. So we could get a weight redistribution, uh, we could get a weight reduction, we could go aerodynamics uh, and get one of these. I don't think, yeah, we can't get anything powertrain wise. We could go aerodynamics since we went chancy last time. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I would guess we would get probably one of these, uh, one of these end ones here. Or we could go down the center and get this drag upgrade. I believe we had that with Sauber and then we had these two end ones here. But I'm definitely thinking more about that downforce. I feel like that's probably the way we should go. So I would probably, if that's the case, we'd probably get one of these end ones. But do let me know what you guys want to see, uh, what you guys think is the best for the car. Again, aerodynamics is the worst, worst, uh, you know, where we're our worst at. So I think that'd probably be the way to go. But there you guys have it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. It was a hell of a race. And it was a lot of fun. So, once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And I'll see you all in the next video.